try and ignore the sound of the very loud washing machine. I think it's nearly finished, but I'm about to go out, so I wanted to film this now. I'm going to show you the progress we've made on the little dining room area. Um, we're going to pop to some like antique dealers and maybe Ikea today and curries because we want to find a fridge freezer. But I wanted to show the room before we got anything else because it's actually coming on really quickly and I haven't picked up the camera since maybe it was being painted but it's been painted now and put the carpet down. We bought a table the other day from Ikea which I did film making so I'm gonna pop that in now. The table was super cheap, it was like £29 from Ikea so a bit of a bargain was in the sale but yeah I'll show you guys how I made that because I put that together yesterday. show you guys the room. This room is also very nearly done. I just have a few things I need to do to it. It's quite noisy in here because of the washing machine but basically got the table in, already got stuff on it. And then up here I think we're gonna do some shelves. Um, we found some in Ikea we liked so. Huh? Good? Good? Yeah? It's okay. Um. <laughs> Let's go. So I've just got back from a few different sort of salvage yards and antique furniture places um, because we've been trying to find a cabinet and a big long mirror for that room. I had success with the cabinet, I'll show you a picture, it's coming tomorrow. But finding a nice long mirror is really hard. I don't like spending loads of money on a mirror because I don't know, I feel like there's just so many mirrors out there that there must be one I can find. That's quite cheap. And I'm also very fussy with decor and furniture and everything like that and it's definitely one of those things that as soon as I see it, I know it. And I have a rough idea of how I want this mirror in my head but yeah, anyway. This is why I like going around lots of different vintage furniture places so I can actually see stuff in real life. So this is the cabinet that's coming tomorrow. It looks quite different in photos, but it's really nice because it matches a glass-fronted bookcase we bought recently, which is in the room next to it. So it will be nice and match the wood in the other room. So that'll be good, and there's lots of space in it as well. But right now I want to go and decorate the shelves in the dining room area because we put them up last night and I kind of wanted to leave them for a bit to set into the wall because my dad put this weird putty stuff in to drill but I don't know so it's also fitting 
a doorbell. <laughs> Honestly, this house is so quiet and as soon as I pull the camera out, something very loud is happening. And it's never normally like this. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and start filling the shelves with some nice bits on them. So yeah, let's go do that. Okay, so this room's quite echoey because there's not too many like soft furnishing in this room, which is annoying because I've kind of got all the things I want in it except the fridge, which is kind of on back order, which is really annoying. But this room is very nearly done. So I wanted to show you some of the updates that I've been doing. So first thing as you come through the door is a little entryway, which looks like this. So you come in. I didn't really want this little radio here because it's got a black cord. I could put some batteries in it, but that seems a bit pointless. Maybe I can just hide the cord a bit more. But this radio I got at the start of second year and it was just in our kitchen and we always had it on. <laughs> so it's quite nice to just come in and put the radio straight on. And then we have this light from Ikea which I love, it's such a great light. It just brings so much light into the room. Might need to turn it off to show this properly. And then I've just got a little orchid plant that I've also had for ages. Um, it's just sat next to it. And then above the orchid, hello, is me. <laughs> and this mirror I have had for ages, but it used to sit on a dresser that I had that my auntie like it up for me. Um, it used to have like a big long chain that you hang it up by. You can get these really easily in like vintage shops that all over the place but they're quite expensive now. I think they're like 30 to 50 pounds for one of these um, but had one in the shed so <laughs> that was good. And then the lights above we just kept the same fixture here and I got lampshades from Ikea which looks so much better. So yeah, that's a little entryway. And the table is just from a vintage shop. And not sure if I'm keeping this rug here yet, but it's just from Primark and it's just like a bath mat. <laughs> and then this is what the table looks like. I just have a hat as my centerpiece right now. <laughs> um, and then we've got these two cushions over here, which are from um, M&S, they were in the sale for £10 each. And then we've got some foam being cut to go on here and I'm going to upholster that. I don't want to show too much because I want to do a big tour, but this is how the shelves turned out. Um, probably be doing a little bit of rejigging maybe, I don't know. It's really hard to know what to put on these hooks. White cabinet is just sitting there, I brought my cactus in. And then this mirror I am so excited about because it's exactly the same as the one I have in my bedroom upstairs. It's the Stave Ikea mirror which has been discontinued and I found it on eBay and I sent like an offer in to the um, person that was selling it and then they declined it and I sent another offer in and then I got it. <laughs> I've literally never won an item on bidding Ikea before so <laughs> I was very excited. So I got it for £55 which I actually think is really good because big Ikea mirrors or they don't even do one that big anymore um, and like big mirrors online are like at least a hundred pounds so yay bargain hunter Rosie and then my favorite thing about this room is this new dresser <laughs> um, so I live in Oxfordshire and there's quite a few sort of like reclamation yards and vintage 
shops to go to to look for furniture um, so we went to quite a few of them we went like at least once <laughs> some of my favorites are the Brackley antique shop um, where else second time around in Banbury which is where this is from and I love second time around in Banbury because they employ loads of disabled people so you just walk around and there's really happy disabled people just helping out there which is so nice I love it when companies do that and then there's a few like dotted around I can't quite remember their names but if you just search for like reclamation yards or vintage furniture places in Oxfordshire I'm sure they'll come up so like I said this cabinet is from second time around in Banbury pretty sure that's the name of the place really great place for vintage furniture and just little knickknacks. It's pretty reasonably priced as well. Um, there's one place in, that I went to that was so expensive. I can't remember where it was. I think it was like Middleton Stony Antiques or something. It was so expensive. I was just like, Pfft. they were having a laugh. But this place was good. This cabinet was 140, I think. And we were really struggling to find something to put in this corner. I really wanted something like this. Um, but then we were looking a lot at Ikea and what sort of storage they had. But there was also, like, the Ikea storage. Anything this size in Ikea would be way more than £140, so it was actually a pretty good bargain. I'd say it's sort of like a medium to dark wood cabinet. The guy selling it to us said it did come with, like, a top bit, but we saw it and we just didn't really think it was that nice. Um, so it's got two little drawers at the top. I've already put some hot chocolate in it. <laughs> um, and then inside, it's a bit of a mess. I haven't really sorted it out yet. But it's got two massive shelves and I'm just storing like random bits and bobs basically that I may need or that I may get rid of. Um, it's got like big kitchen things that I like but don't use because I'm living at home. So yeah, and then I have a little kettle and toaster duo. These are from Breville. I love cream vintage looking appliances. And I also feel like these kind of go with the lampshades a bit. <laughs> like the, the shape of them. And then they didn't have a microwave that matched completely to the set. Um, so I've got a Swan um, microwave retro. I got this one from Curry's and those two from Amazon because they're just the cheapest places to get both of them. Um, and we have a fridge freezer coming in this colour um, by Swan and that is going to go over there. Um, so yeah, very excited about getting that. So yeah, very happy with this cabinet. I think it just works so well in that little corner. Yeah, it's like a little, we were kind of going for the vibe of like a little hotel, Airbnb, you just have a little cabinet with some bits in it um, for the necessities. Like I can come in here and have breakfast on my own, and have my own little space. I'm very lucky to have this space and my other room away from my parents because moving back from uni is hard for like everyone that moves back from uni if you've been living away from home. I really struggled last night. From a personal point of view, I've been struggling with it quite a lot. Um, I thought it'd be fine, but like, I think it would have been okay if both my siblings were still here. But my brother's like working all the time and my sister's now moved to Cornwall. So yeah, I'm now like the single child here. <laughs> I had a big breakdown about it last night, but I just got to try and be happy about it. But it's okay, I just need some interaction with people my age and there's just, like my friends just aren't around here anymore and I'm just gonna drive and see my other friends. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here for now because it's gone on for quite a while. Um, I hope you guys, I've just scratched my neck. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.